w- one last question on, on this subject here, Bill, because a lot of pe- a lot of people also come in like, "Hey, I want to get started. I I follow the numbers. This makes sense. You know, I have five thousand dollars to my name, right? Like, <laughs> what do you tell to that person who might have the right mindset? They might be saving, but it's going to take them a long time to save. Like, at some point, you need to generate income or partner or some uh, something along those lines. So, so what would you say to that person who came up to you at a meetup and said, "Hey, I'd love to get started in you know." I don't have much capital to my name. Of course. And I think there's a couple of ways to skin this cat here. Um, number one, you could buy a REIT. Uh, now that you're not necessarily going to get um, that refi component with a REIT, you are going to get a healthy return. And if there's appreciation on the, the stock, which is essentially what you're buying, that's a good way to get into real estate with a small amount of money. Number two, um, Crowdfunding. There are real estate investment opportunities in the crowdfunding space. So you can take that $5,000 and you can participate um, in a syndicated deal that way. Um, You know, I don't have any particular groups to reach out to to tell you, but if you Googled real estate crowdfunding, I imagine there's going to be a tremendous amount of opportunities uh, available. And then the third option I would say, is you might only have $5,000, but if you've got nine other friends that each have $5,000, now you got something together. Now you can get a down payment down on something. So I, there are opportunities. There are ways to do it. I think that the, the, big, the two biggest keys, number one, live below your means so you can save money. And number two, be patient. Uh, I mean, unless your strategy is flipped, which again, I can't say that good or bad things about that. That's just not my understanding. It's not my business. But for what I'm doing and talking about that value add, talking about the refi down the road and pulling out all, you know, most or all of your capital while still owning the property and then being able to buy another one, um, it's just, it requires patience. So when you make that first investment and you're getting your $3,500 a year, you know, or a couple hundred bucks, whatever it is, you're getting a small amount of money every month. Don't get discouraged by that. Get energized, get excited by that because that's so easily, that small amount of money, the first investment you make, you might double that money, the next investment. And then you're going to, it's just going to keep building on itself. And when you get to be an old man like myself, uh, all of a sudden you look and you go, wait a minute, I don't have to live like I'm broke anymore. I've got the assets. I've got the passive income. It's going to be okay. And so there was years and years and years of just in my mind thinking, I'm broke. I got nothing. I can't go to that restaurant. That's too nice. I can't do that. And now maybe that might be too big of a sacrifice, right? Because folks, um, everybody has their own approach to, to, to finances. But I'm just talking about trying to build wealth, collect assets, and have a nice passive income to where earning your, you know, to where your day job is less va- less important to earning income because you've got this passive income coming from, from your investment. So it's about living below your means and being patient. 